We've got some good XRP news for you today. XRP being used as a payment, giving the old middle finger to Gary Gensler. We've also got XRP price action to talk about, along with Coinbase getting screwed by the SEC. But wait until I show you what Coinbase did that should make you really pissed at the SEC. And yes, I've been shopping. We got a lot of XRP price talk to get to with some good XRP news. But right now, what do you notice? XRP green amongst a sea of red. Sitting at 47.3 up 2%, defying the rest of the market with ETH down 0.8 and Bitcoin now trading sideways. Let's get into that news right away. And what do we got? XRP can now be used to buy workout and dietary supplements via Zoom wallet. So yes, some people buy cards for speculative reasons. Others buy them for fan appreciation stuff, right? You dig the player. But check this out. Again, can you use your security like a stock to pay for fitness-related stuff? DBSCO, a U.S.-based nutrition e-commerce store and wellness brand, has incorporated some payments into its platform. This new integration will enable customers to purchase various workout and dietary supplements with assets on the XRP ledger, including XRP. Here's that tweet from them. And as always, any article you see in this video, along with my Twitter information, is linked in the description below. You can now use your Zoom wallet to pay for workout supplements at DBSCO. Now, I'm telling you this, I did a story about six months ago and again about 18 months ago, yes, that long ago, we've been doing it this long on this channel, where I said, hey, when you start accepting crypto as payments, you will bring in a whole new customer base. Totally true because you know what? You're going to have a lot of XRP fans are like, you know what? We use this for payment. We don't mind doing this. And by the way, using anything from XRPL, juicy, juicy, Coinbase getting screwed by the SEC, relist XRP demand over Coinbase stance. Here's the thing. Coinbase is not going to relist XRP until we get full regulatory clarity in the United States. Regulatory clarity is not coming from the judges. That's actually be coming from new laws being written. Judges are just interpreting the application of the old laws, 33 and 34, on how they apply to today's use cases. On Thursday, Coinbase gave a formal response to an SEC Wells notice saying that the company did not violate securities laws in the United States operations. The SEC had earlier issued a notification saying it was investigating the earned product, wallet service, and exchange operations. Now, hold up. I know a lot of you out there aren't fans of Coinbase and Brian Armstrong, but in his defense, if we use our Edgar tool, and if you don't know what Edgar is, Edgar is the SEC's own search engine for filings. Coinbase has been filing with the SEC, check it out, I've got it right here, since November 2nd of 2018. So why is it after four full pages of filings, check it out, these are all different pages of filings, each one has 100 results per page, so we're talking almost 400 items of filings that we are now getting action from the SEC. Why is it that all these filings are happening years and years and years ago and just now the SEC wants to go after Coinbase? Come on, you register with the SEC, you provide them nearly 400 documents, some of them dating all the way back to 2018 in November. And now you're giving them a Wells notice in April of 2023 yeah, something's completely wrong. By the way, the actual well submission on behalf of Coinbase Global will also be linked in the description. Kind of on the long side, they cite a whole bunch of cool case laws as you can see right here. Worth the read if you got the time. But let's talk about XRP price-wise. I'm happy, I'm optimistic, but there is something I'm cautious about I'm gonna share with you here coming up. All right, so XRP price action. We're moving on up, but what do you see right away? You see these three candlesticks right here all lining up to a fairly similar resistance point, right around that 48 cent mark. The first two here, 48.2, now this one on today, 48. Now, obviously, we're not done with today, so if we hit 48.2, that would make complete sense, is yes, we would repeat the trifecta of resistance. But look at the bottom that we're peeling off of here. We're peeling more and more away from 45 and moving more towards that 50 cent mark leading up into the 3rd of May, which is Jerome Powell and the Fed's decision, right? Rate hike. We know they're going to jump it by 25 basis points. 
Now, let's zoom in a little bit more, take a look at the action, and then I'm gonna share with you what concerns me about this. If we zoom out and take a little bit more granular approach to things, right, on the 30 minute interval on these candlesticks, you can see over the last week, we've definitely been range bound, right? You, I mean, you could see that obvious as day, right? We had some bad action here, we got through it. Now we've been fighting this range bound. I have a feeling we're gonna fight range bound action until we get to the third. Now, what scares me though, and this is what I wanna share with you, Look at the volume right now of these exchanges. I've got coin market cap up right now and we've got cryptocurrency exchange volume. Low volume is not what you need to sustain price going into this weekend and that's where I'm scared. That's where I am a little apprehensive. Yes, we are seeing XRP kind of move away from that 45 on up towards the 50, but this is crazy low volume. Look at Binance. 43% drop in volume last 24 hours. Kraken, 32. Qcoin, 43. OKX52, they're a big supporter of XRP. Bybit as well, down 50%. So volume, big time down, which usually means you've got some very, very unstable footing. So when it comes to this price action, right, we are on very, very unstable ground. As you can see, range bound, low volume leading up into what? Yeah, when people are going to start playing the action around May 3rd. Now, low volume is definitely something we don't want to see. It's often a bearish indicator, and the weekends have been some heavy pressure time for XRP. If we don't see action from the Asian market where that volume starts picking up, we have to be very, very cautious that on any news of the slightest negative bit, since the crypto markets are on such soft footing volume wise, that it could send the markets on down. I will be keeping an eye out this weekend and we'll break any story to you that I'm sitting here going, yo, that's price action worthy. Now, earlier I said, hey, we use things for different reasons, right? I love PSA cards and I really like Luis Robert, okay? Thing is, some people buy these things to speculate. They buy it now, hoping that maybe they get more money later. I buy these for a fan. Now, that being said, I did get this one right here to speculate because I got a crazy good deal on it. Hopefully, he turns his career around. My point is, is XRP is just like these baseball cards. There's so many different uses for them. You can't just classify this as a commodity or security because each person is using this product for a different reason. Some of these people might be buying this and giving this to their kids. Some people might be buying the Luis Robert, right, holiday card saying, hey, I'm going to make some money on this 20 years from now. Maybe he's a perennial all-star. Either way, it's just like XRP. Some people use it for gas piece. Some people use it in order to pay for NFTs. Some people are gonna be using it for fitness subs. Speaking of fitness subs, I've got a second channel where I'm detailing my fitness journey, getting ready for my Colorado mountain climbing season, which is just, yes, about six weeks away. You wanna see that channel? That's this right here. You want Crypto Web 3 action that I broke earlier today that you need to see? That's this video right here. Now, until more news breaks, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep checking out PSA cards, hanging out, scrubbing the net. Working out, you cool cats, have a great rest of your day.